everybody, Mark Spector Comics, and I'm back. This time with my top five picks for new comic book day. If you're interested in finding out what my top five picks are, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get in timely fashion. So, we're back. My top five picks for New Comic Book Day. Haven't made any videos in the last two weeks for New Comic Book Day. And that's mainly because they were rather light weeks. I didn't pick up any books uh, because of that. So, we're back this week because it's a really solid week. I even have some honorable mentions. So, uh, that's how you know it's a solid week. So, uh, let's start with the honorable mentions. And then we'll get into my top five picks. All right, so we're going to chill tonight. We're going to give you my top picks. going to give you some good honorable mentions as well, so you'll know, get a wide variety of readers in this channel. So um, let's start with some DC first. So we got Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths, issue number four by Josh Williamson. It's been a pretty good, good series so far. Um, it was a little slow in issue three, and that's mainly in part why it made an honorable mention this week so um i'll check it out and see if it's worth continuing i think it's seven issues so um honorable mention nonetheless still a good read um uh, my other book uh let's take a look i actually no, that's my only dc book for honorable mentions all right i got one from a blaze and this is uh boogeyman issue number one um, this one sounded pretty interesting. Let me tell you, let's see, what's this? So, Elliot has always had a preference for the stories of Boogeyman. Monstrous creatures which at night hide in the shadows or under the bed to frighten little children. We all know about the Boogeyman. So, um, witnessing the bloody murder of his parents, he will discover that in reality, Boogeyman do indeed exist. And very precise codes govern their existence. When the most powerful Boogeyman... Father Death decides to protect him, Elliot finds himself plunged into a terrible conflict at the heart of the universe. So it looks like there's going to be the bad boogeyman, and then there's going to be some boogeyman that protect. So it uh, seemed pretty interesting. So um, there are some pretty cool covers as well. I, uh, I thought the um, Ghost Rider number one parody cover looked pretty cool. Um, there's a glow in a dark sketch cover. There's also, let's see, what are we looking at real quick? There's a cover with the Boogeyman and then a little boy holding a teddy bear. Look pretty cool. There's just a bunch of covers. They're all sold out on Midtown. So, you know, it's going to be a, a pretty desirable book. Um, but uh, still made my honorable mention this week. And then my last honorable mention has been a series I've been reading right along. And that's uh, Twig. My son's favorite read uh, right now. And uh, Twig number five has been fun, fun little read with um, Scotty, Scotty Young doing the writing and uh, Kyle Stram doing the artwork. Uh, I don't know how, how many more issues it's going to be going forward, but uh, I can imagine it's starting to wrap up. But uh, definitely a fun read. Can't wait to read that one as well. So uh, those are my honorable mentions this week. So I'll put those aside. And we're going to get to my uh, top five picks. So uh, coming from DC this week, we got Batman Beyond Neo, New, uh, Neo Year 6 as my number five pick. Um, I'm going to go with cover C, which is the uh, $4.99 cardstock ca uh, variant. And um, basically, what, what the only key thing that has to do with this, I haven't been reading it at all, so I don't really know what's going on. But there is um, Terry McGinnis is going to have a new suit and that's what you see here you know batman beyond on the, the cover c i believe cover b as well is also um you see his cover on uh suit on there as well yeah you do so but i i like i typically like more like the design variants and that cover c is closely resembling to that so um i'm gonna go with that one so that's my number five this week batman beyond neo year six Moving on to my number four pick this week. And we're going to move on to uh, 
Marvel. We got Black Panther number uh, volume eight, issue number five. This is um, written by John Ridley, German Peralta artwork. Really cool cover A. You got this, uh, what looks like an elephant. <laughs> and um, you got Captain Marvel, Black Panther, and uh, Captain America there at the bottom. Um, this is going to be a spec play. Um, it's number four because I think it's really a minor key and not anything I is going to do too hot. Um, but it has to do with um, a dangerous new galactic interloper called the Colonialist. Um, arrives to Earth and is going to take on T'Challa. So um, I'm going to stick with cover A on that one. Like I said, minor key. I don't think we're going to get too much out of it in the future but uh, just something to look out for either way and you can't go wrong when it's cover price so that's my number four this week um, and they're also I think the colonialist is actually on the cover as well for cover A so uh, another thing to pick up there as well um, number three this week we, uh, we got another Marvel book and um, this is gonna be another number one and uh, we got Alien Volume 2, issue number one. I guess they restarted the series. Um, I know Predator just restarted as well. You know, they launched on Marvel. Um, Prey did really well. Got some good reviews on Hulu. So I think because of that, Marvel was pretty receptive to restart the Alien series. Um, interested in reading on this as well. Philip Kennedy Johnson is going to be the writer. I do like his uh, his writing, and you got some artwork done by Julius, I guess, Ota is how you pronounce it. Um, pretty cool covers. I I do like the cover A when you see the alien uh, just holding the body there, and uh, you see his tail wrapping around like that. Um, take your pick. There's some really cool covers. There's also, um, I do like the cover D, which is... An Inks Virgin Diamond 40th Anniversary variant cover, uh, which is limited one per. Uh, I would imagine it's gonna be like maybe one or two at the stores. I'm not sure, but it's uh, it it goes for over cover. So uh, look out for that one. That looks pretty cool as well. Um, but I like the cover A personally, and I do got a feeling that they're gonna end up doing a Alien versus Predator crossover event as well. So look out for that in the f near future. Um, so that's my number three this week. Moving on to my number two, which is going to be my only independent book this week. And this is coming from Dark Horse Comics. There, I noticed there was a bunch of horror um, comics coming out this week as well. So, uh, But this one I th actually made my list. And this is Shock Shop number one, written by... By my favorite horror writer out there in the game right now, and that's Cullen Bunn. Um, artwork by Danny Lucert, Layla Lace, and also Danny Lucert and Layla Lace cover for a cover A. Um, give you a little backdrop on the story. Has to do with a horror anthology flip comic taking place in a haunted comic shop. So uh, there's going to be a few stories, I think a few short stories in the actual issue. Um, one has to do with in familiars after a painful divorce, Trevor rents a house and tries to rebuild his life. There's one that has to do with in something in the woods, in the dark, a husband and wife go through a tough time to going on a camping trip with new friends. And then something in the woods starts killing the camper and it may have ties to the campers more than any of they realize. So uh very exciting um as you can see it's a flip flip cover comic so on the back if you flip it on the back cover it's actually a, like another you know new cover on there so it's very interesting i like that i'm excited because we're getting now into you know halloween is right around the corner so you're going to start getting more horror titles coming out as well naturally so um shock shop number one by dark horse comics is my number two this week and uh Going off to number one this week, I was really, really digging uh, this issue, the prior issue, and really excited to see what comes out in this week's issue coming up, and that's Batman issue number 127. 
Um, we left off with failsafe, really like trying to. He was he was putting in a number on Batman. Um, looked like he was pretty close to killing him. So uh, very interested to see what comes out of this uh, upcoming issue, written by one of my favorite writers, Chip Sadarsky. We got some brilliant artwork by Jorge Jimenez, and there's great covers for this one as well. So uh, take your pick. Um, just going to stick with the cover A. It's done by Jorge Jimenez. And uh, I do believe there's a cover D. It's a 30th anniversary cardstock cover with uh, Harley Quinn. That would look pretty cool as well. Um, there is a Jock foil card stock variant. It's a nice yellow cover. That looks pretty sweet. And then there's also an incentive in Hyukli cardstock variant. I don't know if it's like a 1 in 20 or what the case is, but it looks really cool. You got, um, uh, let's see. And then a cover C also done by Alex Gardner, which looks really nice. Nice little action scene. So uh, take your pick, you know. Um, a little bit of the solicitation says, Fail safe hunts the Dark Knight, leaving a trail of injured heroes. Batman retreats to the manor as he prepares for a final assault. So, uh, and there's also a backup story with Catwoman. Um, so we'll see. That's my number one this week. I hope you guys enjoy my top five picks. If you do, write down in the comments below what you're looking to pick up. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And until next time, Mark's with the Comics. Out.